Four years today on YouTube, yippee. January 24th, 2013 is when I started my channel. So, for the four year anniversary, I decided to do the exact same thing to start off this video as I did on my very first video. Why would I do that? Because I'm fucking weird, that's why, I don't know. Spend so much goddamn time out in this lonely ass garage. Figured I'd do this. My very first clip on YouTube was a uh, 115 pound squat for 10 reps. <laughs> Still sore as hell from the other day, but uh, figured I'd do that. It's because I wanted to, that's why. All right, enough of that. And as you know, in my last video, my camera broke, but I, I did get it working again, and this is the footage from it, but this is my son's iPad. I'm going to uh, snuck this out here, <laughs> but uh, try to see how this thing does. This thing actually does 720, 1080, and 4K. But I'm going to set it for uh, 1080, 60 frames. You can go 4K, but it's only 30 to 30 frames with the 4K. I think this is the new, the newest iPad you can get. It's a really thin one. But I'm not going to use this that often because, uh, my luck, I'll fucking drop it or something out there. I set it to 1080 HD at 60 FPS. See how it does. I add my lights in the back. My little, my high-powered halogen lights. And this is the footage with the iPad. Just starting out with bench today. But I pretty much plateaued on everything. I've been on like a 5x5 five five for the past month. But I definitely plateaued on bench. Um, I was doing pretty good at squat. Just until this last workout, I uh, failed my top set. That was 205. Tonight I wore the same exact fucking clothes as I did four years ago on my first video. I mean, the same exact clothes. I still have them hanging around in my closet. Here's something weird I decided to do. Some, uh... I don't know why, I just... was kind of going freestyle tonight, so I figured I'd... I don't know what you would call these, uh... Fucking lockouts or whatever. Same pants, same hoodie. Same jacket, same shoes. <laughs> Just different underwear. I wanted to do these because I wanted to, um, then I was going to go back down to 250. I wanted to see if these would kind of make the weight feel lighter. And this is 345 for a, a lockout. I added a shell height on this compared to 315. Then I just wanted to hold 405 to see how it felt. Go. Four plates. Uh, there's no way I can fucking do this for real, but so I just did a static hold with it. Fuck. I could barely even freaking turn the bar. It was that fucking heavy. And I'm not gonna lie. After doing this, my, my shoulder joint <laughs> kind of got a little sore after holding this. 
couldn't even unrack it at first, and I really had to try to unrack it to, to do it. Same damn radio station, too, playing. So I quit listening to this station pretty much because I can't stand the fucking new DJ that's on there. So I dropped the weight for regular touch and go back to 250. I was thinking maybe I'd get 10 to 12, but I died at 9. It did make the weight feel lighter, but doing full reps with it, it didn't, it didn't make it any easier. It, uh, it just made it feel lighter at the top, and that was about it. Oh! Damn it. So that's static hold. I mean, like I said, it made it feel lighter at the top, but once I started repping it out, it, it, I think I was pretty much burnt out from doing those static static holds and some of those uh, lockouts. So then I did some uh, incline tonight up to 225. I think I got eight reps with this. I don't know where I'm gonna go this year with my training, you know. Um, I was feeling pretty good for the first part of this uh, January 17th, but I don't know, over this last week I've been really feeling kind of dragged and tired. And, and uh, I don't know, I think my goal for this year is to not upload as many videos. I don't bore my fucking YouTube audience. <clears throat> I think I might do like a, I don't know, I'd like to do once a month kind of an update thing on where I am with strength and training and shit. Because, uh, I don't know, I gotta quit worrying about the cameras and all this shit because I'm not going to be taking my son's iPad out in the fucking garage every day. Oh, did I? This is my last set of these for triceps. This is my favorite tricep exercise here, so. 120 for seven with a drop set, I think. I'm sure YouTube will fucking bitch about the music. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, some curls. I did up to, I think I did 20 reps here, but I only showed the last five, so. But, yeah. So that's my four year oh. anniversary video, and uh, thanks for watching. Hey, I'll see you guys later. Hey. Oh, yeah, and here's for something for any of you wondering about the fucking awesome designer clothes I wear out in the garage. I call them gym rags. Custom fucking gym rags. You, you can't be purchased. They gotta be created. Stains, rips, fucking wear marks from deadlifting in them. There ain't going to be no fucking discount codes for these either, because I know all you guys are going to want some of these, but even if I was to say, you know what, I'm going to send you one for free, it wouldn't be a gym rag for you, because you didn't fucking put the work in on, on it. If you want a gym rag, you got to wear a certain piece of clothing, no matter what it is, no matter where it's from, and who, who gives a shit what it says. So there's my uh, matching gloves there, too. Who cares? you got to put in the work put the wear and tear in them and then they'll become a gym rag for you. And all the fucking girls will want, want to date you. Alright, later.